Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. How Good are evening, you? Teacher. Good, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How was your day? How was your day? It was, it was good. It was good. Nice. It was tired. It was tired. It was fun. It was fun. Good. Nice. How many hours do you work every day? Eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. Does somebody work more than eight hours? Yes, me. 10 hours, 11? Yes, Two because my, it's my OM business. And mm -hmm. also um, business uh, family, familiar. A family business. A family business. Good, good. Nice. Okay, welcome back. It's good to see you again. That's nice. We have 19 people connected. That's a good number. Okay, so let's begin. What's today's date? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday what? 18. Uh-huh. What no, 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 no. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, May 19th, 2021, all right, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday, what topics did we cover, where are you from, possessive adjectives, possessive, possessive adjectives, what is the possessive adjective that we use for a woman? A hair. 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 What is the possessive adjective that you use for you? Your. Uh, my. Your. My. Your. My. Your. My. For you. Uh, your. Your. No, your. What is the possessive your. adjective your. for I? My. 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 Okay. My. What is the possessive adjective for Pedro and Juan? They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. What is the possessive Our. adjective for Juan Our. and I? Juan and I. Our. 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 It's not there. Teacher. It's our. Our. Teacher. Yes. Uh, about, the, about this word? Uh, some people say or or uh, our is the correct form. Uh, it depends where you are. It depends if you're using British, American, Australian, Canadian, our. This is our house. So the, the okay. two options are good. Okay, okay. Okay, so let me ask you once again. What is the possessive adjective for Carmen and Maria? Dare. 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 What is the possessive Dare. adjective for Carmen and I? Our. 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 Excellent. Our. All right. Any questions? Sure, I have a question. Ask me, please. On the platform, there are examples that say uh, the correctly form is what's her first name and the as what is it's Celia, but I don't know what is why don't you use which which is her name? Which her first name? Oh okay. Why do you use what in or and not which? Okay. What is general? So if I said what is your favorite language? What is your favorite color? What is your last name? It's very general. Now you can say which. So I show you this, and here I have 10 names. And I said, Jose Carlos, what is your, which is your last name? Which is your last name? 
We're going to be talking about that today. When, where, which, why, and all that. So once again, what is general? Which is when you have options. So okay. Which. I, 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 I think uh, very careful this uh, answer because I think it's which. But yeah. the correct answer is what's her first name? Right. And the answer is it's Celia. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So if I'm showing you a list with names, I said, uh, Jose Carlos, which is your last name? Because you have two or more options. Okay. Got it? Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, before buenas I start. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening. 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 Aha, uh -huh. activate your cameras. Okay, Francisco Artiga. Okay, ha uh ha -huh. Nice. Lisette Marisol. Okay. So, smile. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. Paint. Give me a second. Give me a second. What's today's date? Wednesday, Wednesday 19. 19. Yeah, May 19. 21. Exactly. So that's going to be the name of the image. May 19. And here we go. All right. So uh, let me take attendance. Uh, Stephanie Alejandra, please pay attention to your names. Uh, Stephanie Alejandra? Yes. Where are you? Okay, thank you. Uh, Jennifer Saray? No. Okay, thank you. Marcela Yvonne? Present. Thank you. Carla Paola? No, Carla Paola? Okay, she's absent. Javier Artiga? Present, teacher. What is, what is your first name? Is it Francisco or Javier? Francisco. Francisco, that's an elegant name. <laughs> Astrid Lorena? Present. Thank you. Ivan Jose? Ivan, Present. Thank you. Uh, Karen Renata. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Rebecca Rivas. Present. Thank you. Jose Isaías. Isaías. Present Isaias. teacher. Thank you. Bessie Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you. Caesar Adonai. Present. Lily Montes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Susana Versabe. Susana, Susana. Absent. Joanna Beatrice. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Francisca. Anna. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Victoria. Present. Thank you. Mariela Granados. No. Absent. Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Miriam Ivonne. I'm Miriam. here, teacher. Thank you. Lisette Marisol. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Jose Carlos Barrientos. Present teacher. Good. Gaby Beatriz. Present teacher. Gabriela Beatriz. Okay, she's absent. Maria de Los Angeles. I'm here, teacher. Good. Karen Elisa. Karen, Karen. She's absent in Dalida. Dalida, right? Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Excellent. So, um, who, how do you say compartir in English? Share. 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 Okay. Do you remember your homework? Yeah, yes. the cell phone. <laughs> what was the homework? The cell phone. What about the cell phone? Change the language of the Change cell phone. Change the language. Only the cell phone? The Facebook too. Facebook too. Facebook too. Facebook too. Raise your hand if you change the language of your cell phone. Y los que nos conectamos del teléfono. Okay, thank you. Raise your hand if you change your Facebook to English. Okay, good, good. Ajá, los que no levantaron la mano, ¿qué les pasó? Yo no uso Facebook, así. Pero en Instagram sí lo cambié. Okay, good, good. I don't use Facebook, teacher. Okay, if you yeah. use Facebook, that's excellent. Yes? I don't use Facebook. Okay, good. So if you don't use Facebook, that's good. Admiro la gente que no ocupa Facebook. Es algo bien adictivo. It's addictive. So waste of time. Se pierde el tiempo. So anyways. Okay, referente a la lista. Um, Hay alguien que no, que está presente y no lo mencioné. Alguien que esté presente y no lo mencioné. So, todos los que están acá eh, fueron mencionados. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. So, let's begin. A ver, ¿qué, who shared the, uh, the image of the aeronautical alphabet? Me, who teacher. Okay, Caesar. Okay. Yeah. Let's check this here. Mm -hmm. Go here. Can you see my WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. Okay, vamos a ver dónde está esa página. It's right here. Okay, what do you see there? What do you see? Like the alphabetic. The aeronautical alphabet. Alphabet. The aeronautic alphabet. What is the function of this alphabet in particular? For the aviation code. For the aviation code. For the military code. Good. What is the function? Para qué sirve? They speak in, in clave. <laughs> With uh, when, when someone is spelling? Is spelling, or is spelling something, and the other people can understand what is the, the exactly letter. Excellent. Good. Yeah, that's the Very reason. Good. So, imagines, estoy hablando con usted en teléfono, y yo le digo M. What letter did I say? M. Mike. <laughs> M as in Mike. Fíjese bien. Aquí le voy a poner en el WhatsApp chat. Let me see this here. So you say M as in Mike. Do you see your chat? M as yes, in yes. Mike. Entonces, ¿qué estoy diciendo ahí? M de Mike. Entonces, usted no puede tra traducir eso literalmente. So, you, you need to say M as in Mike. ¿Por qué tiene que decir Mike? Porque la persona can misunderstand y escuchar N. N as in 
November. Entonces, porque puede escuchar M en vez de N, it's necessary that you use a reference word. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike. November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu. Teacher, yes. for, exa for example, uh, it's like a, a, in Spanish, uh, M de mamá, B de burro. Uh -huh. Exactly. So you say as in. So um, check the chat. What letter is that? B. 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 Which B? Bravo. B as in Bravo. B as Bravo. B as in Bravo. ¿Usted cree que esa B se puede confundir con esta otra? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. O sea, did you say B as in Bravo or P as in Papa? I said P as in Papa. So it's very, very necessary that you guys are familiar with this particular alphabet. Any questions here? So bad, you can use it wherever it works. Right, right. So let's say, um, now we have like three different versions of this alphabet. So in some cases, they, they don't say November, they say Nancy. And as in Nancy, and as in November. They don't say X as in X-ray, they say X as in Xiomara. So, um, okay. and, but you can also use any other word like you say, C as in chair, C as in coin, S as in Sonia, S as in Salvador. So it's, you can use any other uh, word. word. Just is not necessary to have in the beginning the, the letter. Right, right. It has to match. It has to match. Y la razón okay. por qué tiene que ocupar esto es porque muchas veces nos quedamos RDM y ahí se quedan. ¿Por qué razón es importante esto? Porque en los call center las llamadas tienen un límite de tiempo. Y entonces ese segundo o dos que usted se queda pensando en una palabra de referencia, al final le afecta. So that's why this is very important. Any questions or comments? Not teacher. No? Uh, did everybody join the, the WhatsApp chat? Todos lograron entrar al WhatsApp chat? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. So, todos tienen esto en su WhatsApp chat. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, we're going to practice some spelling. The first part is uh, speaking. Um, you're going to work in pairs. So imagine that I'm working with uh, Jose Carlos Barrientos. And I said, Jose Carlos, how do you spell Barrientos? And then he's going to tell me B as in boy, A as in alpha, R as in Romeo, R as in Romeo, I as in India, and blah, blah, blah. So él me va a deletrear su apellido ocupando este abecedario como referencia. Is it clear? Yes, it's Okay. Yes, so, teacher is clear. Very good. We got 22 people. Les agradezco que estén presentes. Yes. It's clear and, and funny too. <laughs> okay, good, good. Nice. So, you're going to practice spelling your last name. So, les estaba diciendo, les agradezco que estén presentes. De 9 a 10, pues es cuando llega para muchos el sueño. But you're making this sacrifice haciendo este sacrificio porque puede estar viendo televisión con sus hijos, con su esposo, su esposa, pero ha decidido estar acá. So here we go. Let me check this here. La misma indicación de siempre, si por alguna razón su compañero no le responde, levante la mano y yo inmediatamente lo cambio de salón. Let's do it. Practice spelling. Go ahead. So what is your last name? Oh, my last name is Lopez. How do you spell Lopez? L as in Lima, O as in Oscar, blah, 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 and so on.
is Gor my last name is Garcia. And Seria Gor Alpha. It is um, we can practice with our name. Other. Excuse me. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, uh, my second last name. The the. In the presupuesto. I don't know. Okay. Presupuesto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Begin, begin, begin the <laughs> the number, alphabetic number. Okay. What, what, how do you spell your uh, last day, Miriam? Uh, repeat, repeat, please. How do you spell the the last your last name? Okay. <laughs> okay. Lo que él nos ha compartido aquí, por lo menos la la M. Um, ¿Dónde está la M? Eh, la M de May. Eh, hello, okay. teacher. Okay, hello, teacher. How Aquí estamos. Eh, I have a question. What is the question? Bueno, un comentario. Nada yes. más. Este, estábamos este, en español. Uh -huh. Estábamos hablando yes. de que no puedo compartir yo la, la captura para ver el, el alfabeto. Y oh. mi compañera tampoco puede. Ok, déjeme se los um, <laughs> share screen. ¿La pueden ver ahorita? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, yes. so if you can okay. take a picture or a screenshot, that will be good. Sí, yo, yo lo tengo, pero no estoy del teléfono, sino que de otro de la tabla. Ah, y no en mi ver. caso, ah, en mi caso, si lo comparto, él me saca de la reunión. Oh, ok. Ah. Lo vamos a ver. Mándenme a, um, ¿cómo se llama? Un WhatsApp ahorita y se los envío a su, a su número, a su número. Got it? O se lo voy a poner ahorita en el, en, el, okay. en, el, en, el, en el WhatsApp chat. Give me a second. Okay. Uh -huh. Go here. Right there. Okay. Ahí se los envía todo de nuevo. Okay. Okay, so yeah. practice the spelling. Okay, teacher, gracias. Very good. You're Thank welcome. N as in November. N as in November. E as in echo. Okay. As in golf. Uh, I as in India. Uh, N as in November. N as in November. Uh, you need practicing, for example, with your, what is your last name? Uh, last name, Lorena. 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 Last name. Last name. Es el apellido. Ajá. Muñoz, perdón. Muñoz, okay. How do you spell Muñoz? Mm. M as in Mike. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. um, you as uni, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? M as in uniform. Uniform. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uniform. Um, uh, Ay, si no existe la E. Ajá. Good question. Good question. <laughs> el, uh -huh. Como la E no existe, el norteamericano, ¿qué es lo que hace? Eh, si usted reserva un vuelo y digamos su apellido es Muñoz, ahí le aparece. La N le va a aparecer solita. Eh, no me acuerdo. ¿Cómo se llama la cuestión que lleva encima la N? La virgulilla. Esa. 
that one. Yeah, the Virgulia, yeah. Uh, so they tell you, le va a parecer munos, quinones, uh, nunes. Así le va a parecer. Prácticamente en ese alfabeto no existe la ñ. No, it doesn't exist. So, so, so the, the people, the American people put uh, the N. Yeah. In, in... So, oh. ¿ya han oído hablar del niño? El fenómeno natural del niño. Sí. Yeah. Y dicen el nino. El nino. Uh, they say nunes, quiteno, and, and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, yeah, ñ does not exist. Good. Entonces tendré que decir en as in November. Exactly, exactly. Good. Yes. Vaya, eh, volvemos de nuevo con otros apellidos. Yes. M as in Mike, O as in Oscar, N as in November, T as in Tango. Ya, ya, ya lo recuerdo. Ya lo... Ok. Um... Hi, teacher. Uh, teacher. Hello. Yes, Gabriela. How do you? Puso ausent y no soy ausent. Gabriela <laughs> Beatriz. Vamos a ver. Gabi Beatriz. Sí, le puse ausente, pero ya que está acá, pues vamos a arreglar eso. Present. Good. Thanks, teacher. Okay, good. Any questions or comments? For the moment, no. Not for the moment. Okay. Not for the moment. Very Thank good. Let me chair. visit one more room and then we go back to the main session. Hello. Hey, Hola. Sir. How are you? Okay. Uh, good. Good. Nice. How was your day? It was um, kind of tired. You had a nice day? Yeah. Tired? Yes. Tired. Yeah. Do you work on Saturdays? In my case, I only work on weekends. Oh, really? What do you do? I sell uh, corn. I don't know how to say. I work at the market. At the, uh, you mean, uh, oh, okay. So you sell corn. Yes. What, what market? Uh, it is on, it is from Oloquilta Market. Oh, the Oloquilta Market. Okay, good. Yes. Do you grow the corn? Do you plant the, crow, the, the, the corn? Uh, yes, teacher. I live in a uh, town. Uh-huh. And so I, I was, uh, I don't know how to say, fumigando to yeah, prepare exterminate. The, uh, exterminate, uh, the grass in order to, I don't know, to sow the corn. I guess that is correct. Uh, what is the word again? Yes, sow, I guess. Sembrar? Oh, uh, grow, grow. Okay, grow the, the corn. Uh-huh. Okay, so you prepare the land, so you are present in all the process. Yes, sir. Good, good, excellent. Nice. Do you live in Oloquilta? Uh, yes, I live in Oloquilta, but in a countryside. Good, good, nice, nice, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, hi. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Any questions or comments about the spelling exercise? Uh, I, I have a comment. Yes, uh, Caesar. The, the letter ñ that you said. Good, good. How do you say ñ in English? Uh, I know because no existe. Exactly. It doesn't no exist. exist. Right? So, si digamos su apellido es Muñoz, Quiñones, Quiteño, y hace una reserva en un hotel o para algún vuelo, el agente ahí le va a decir que la N, ¿cómo le va a aparecer la Ñ? Como N. N. Pura N. Entonces va a decir Quinones, Munoz, Quiteno, y así, porque ellos así lo pronuncian, pero se lo dejan saber. 
para cuando usted imprima su boleto, su reserva, no se vaya a alterar o, o alarmar porque aparece la N sin la... What's the name, Cesar? My name is... is no, la, name la, la, la cuestión que lleva arriba la N. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, virgulilla. Yeah, la virgulilla, right. Virgulilla. virgulilla. Ah, yeah, okay. okay. All right. Questions or comments. So, cuando el nombre lleva N, recuerde, si lo está deleteando en inglés, siempre le va a aparecer como N. Questions or comments? But when the people compare with the DUI, for example, or passport, uh, uh -huh. that's not a problem. No, no, because they understand. They understand what the okay. process is. Right. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Ask me, please. Okay. Uh, with my partner, uh, we spell the names, last name, and she. She asked me uh, where I live. Where and, do you live? Uh, yes, and so I live in San Salvador. And when I spell San Salvador, I don't know why you say El Espacio. Oh, blank. San Salvador. Blank. Blank. Yeah. B-L-A-N-K. Okay. N-K. Blank. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Or you, you can also say space. You can say blank or space. The two options are good. That's a good question. Okay, thanks. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me, please. Okay, how can I say Tokai in English? Tokai? Yes, could be namesake. Namesake. Okay. Namesake. Let me put it in the chat. Uh, name sake. Namesake. Okay, thank you. Okay. I have a, a, a namesake in in my class. Yes. Yes. M Miriam Yvonne. We have Rebecca Yvonne. Yvonne. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes, uh, uh, Marcela Yvonne. Uh, was my my classmate in the break breakout yesterday oh, uh -huh. good, good, and good. and i ban to all right good okay for example yes. teacher yes for, yes for example teacher there there are two jose carlos in the class me and jose carlos exactly oh, another jose carlos i don't know yeah. the, the last name yes all right we have two Franciscos in the class. Two. Yeah. So hay, hay nombres que se repiten. Creo que hay dos Karens también. But that's, that, that's good. Okay. Um, any questions or comments? Teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tengo pocos megas, entonces me oh, conecto okay. porque me acabó el internet. Ok. Ya, okay. yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Y, y okay. valoro su esfuerzo, porque yo sé que la economía pues no, no es tan a, amigable y el estar metiéndole saldo, saldo, pero thank you, sí, we sí, appreciate y ayer, y ayer la, me metí la tarjeta de cuatro días y ya. Ok. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie, okay. thank you. Entonces, okay. con más ganas tiene que meterse a la clase y participar y preguntar y hacer para qué va a valer cada, cada moneda que le mete de saldo. Good. All right. Okay. So, okay, good. Do you guys have pen and paper? Do you have pen and paper? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, right now we're going to do a listening activity. Le van a dictar diferentes letras, 15 diferentes letras. Entonces, por ejemplo, van a decir, number one, P. Usted escribe P. Number two, X. Usted pone X. Number three, F. Usted pone F. Y después vamos a practicar, vamos a comparar el, 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 your results. Is everybody okay. ready? ¿Están listos todos? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
Ok, nice. Vamos a cerrar este abecedario. Me dejan saber si escuchan. Give me a second. Ok, new share. Computer sound. Here we go. Page eight. Exercise two. Can you hear it? Yes, yes we can. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention. Yes, Voy a ponerlos a todos en silencio porque es a listening exercise. Entonces usted enumera del 1 al 15 y va escribiendo la letra que van diciendo. Here we go. Lo voy a poner en silencio a todos. Here we go. Listening comprehension. Listen. Circle the letter you hear. One. A. Two. B. Three. N. Four. O. Five. Z. Six. C. Seven. F. Eight. X. Nine. V. Ten. J. Eleven. N. Twelve. K. Thirteen. D. Fourteen. H. Fifteen. E. All right. So what is the answer for number one? A of A. Alpha. A, a as in alpha. As in alpha. Ah. Good. Ah, okay. A as in alpha. What is number two? B. B as in Bravo. B as in Bravo. Okay. Bravo. So the name of that B is Labial. Why the yeah. name Labial? Why Labial? ¿Por qué se le dice labial? Haga de caso que su hermanito, su hijo le está preguntando, ¿por qué se llama labial? B. Why labial? Because you use B. the label, the label, I don't know. The labios. Uh -huh. To pronounce. How do you say labios in English? Lip. 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 Lips. 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 ¿Qué más es lips? It's a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> it is a restaurant. Uh, no, a restaurant. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, another kind of restaurant, teacher. Yeah, yeah, a different I type did of food. Her. I did her. I did her. <laughs> okay, so label. I did her. I did her. I promise you that I have never been in that place. I promise. Teacher, <laughs> los tacos de lips is on good. It's a good. Yeah. Los tacos de lips. Yeah, la in front, in front, buena. in front. Yeah, in front of. In front of. La atención es algo, son algo pesados, muchachos, pero anyway. Ok, so, labial. ¿Por qué se le llama labial? Porque para pronunciarlo usted solo ocupa your lips. Y por eso se le dice labial. Mm -hmm. What is number three? En noviembre. As in November. What is number four? As in November. Oh, oh, as in Oscar. 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 Okay, what about number five? Z, as in Zulu. Okay, number six? Z, as in Charlie. Z, as in Charlie. Number seven? L, as in Foxtrot. What's the meaning of Foxtrot? ¿Qué significa Foxtrot? It's a dance. Excellent. A kind of dance. dance. Es un baile que se aplicaba hace mucho tiempo en los Estados Unidos. Ya no lo practican. But Foxtrot is a dance. Very good. Um, number eight. X. 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 X.
Excess in x-ray. Number nine. D in delta. As in delta. Victor. V as in Victor or Leviodento. You see the chat? Is a D or no? B. B. B as in Victor. B as in Victor. Or you say, which B? Labio or labiodental? So let me ask you. Why labiodental? Because you use uh, uh, lips and dent for and the lips. pronunciation. Right. V. Right. So look v. here. Fíjese bien cómo lo voy a hacer. Look. V. 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 So what is the How do you say labios again? Lip. Lips. Okay. Lip. Lower lips and lower lip. Lower lip. What is the meaning of lower lips? Labio de abajo. Aha, el labio de acá with upper teeth. What's the meaning of upper teeth? Los dientes de arriba. Exactly. So you say V. V. So tiene que saber explicar cuáles dientes y cuáles labios. Dientes de arriba, va, va, with the lower lip. Okay, very good. What is number 10? Why as in dentist? Why? Um, number J. 10, who has number 10? J. 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 As in Julian. Julian. Okay. Julian. It's okay, it's okay to make mistakes. Está bien hacer uh, equivocarse, because that's how we pronounce. Les voy a enviar este audio al chat para cuando usted esté solito o solita, lo vuelva a practicar y diga, es cierto, I made a mistake. Okay, number 11. M. And as in Mike, 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 as in Mike, as in Mike, as Mike, as in Mike, yes. Number 12, K, K, as in Kilo, as in Kilo, 13, T, T, as in Tango, as in Tango, Delta, D, as in Delta, D, as in Delta. D as in D. Oh, no. D. No. Don't take my yeah. word. Don't take my word. A mí no me crea. Usted, cuando tenga el audio, usted dice, voy a ver qué tan cierto es lo que decía Francisco. Y yo, yeah, he's uh -huh. right. Ok. 14, what is 14? H. 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 As in hotel. Good. H. As in hotel. And what is 15? I. E. As in echo. E as in echo. Echo. Good. echo. Excellent. Nice. Any mm -hmm. questions about this exercise? No, did you, Francisco? No, did you. Okay. Nada. Okay, so please remind me. Después me dice, hey, ¿qué pasó con abecedario? Después se lo voy a enviar hoy más tarde. Okay, so let's continue. Ajá, uh -huh. ajá. So, cerré el, el... Give me a second. Da, da, da. No, it's not this one. Give me a second. Close this. Right here. Aquí vamos. Here we go. Please call me Beth, we're in 1.6. Okay, see this? So we have a 1.8, 1.7, 1.5. And here we go. Okay, what do you see uh, on my screen? WH Pregúnteme si estoy contento. How do you feel? Ok, pregúnteme si estoy contento, literalmente. Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Siempre que usted empiece una pregunta con el verbo to be, la respuesta siempre va a ser sí y no. Cualquiera dos. Are you happy? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 
Are you tired? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are you nervous? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Ahora, pregúnteme por qué estoy contento. Uh, what, do you, what, why, what, why do you what do you happy uh, what do you happy are you happy why are you happy why are you happy uh, why, why are you happy why are you happy why are you happy uh, are you happy, uh, are you happy? Uh, are you happy? Are you questions with b okay pregúnteme si ella está aquí is she is she here is she here is she here, is she here? Uh -huh. Ok, yo le voy a responder sí o no. Yes, she's here. No, she's not here. Ahora pregúnteme por qué está ahí. Why? Why, why, is, why is she, she here? here? Excellent. Why is she here? So, when we need additional information, you have to include WH. When, where, why, who, blah, blah. What is the WH word that we use for places? Where? 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 What is the place that we use for, the word that we use for time or dates? What? 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 Times what time? or dates? When? What? When? 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 Uh -huh. Pregúnteme, ¿cuándo es mi cumpleaños? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Okay. okay. Uh, how do you say qué? What? 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 Very good. What? How do you say quién o quiénes? Who? 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 Pero why? para preguntar. Why? 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 Okay, fíjese bien. A esas cinco se le llaman WH. Porque empiezan con WH. Pero también se les conocen como. ¿Alguien sabe the other name? Information. Question words. It's question words. Question words. Si yo le digo, fíjese que vi a su primo. Y usted me dice, where. ¿Qué espera cuando usted me dice where? Like, más información. Information. Information. Exactly. And we have, lo que preguntaba el compañero temprano, tenemos which y tenemos how. So son siete. We have seven question words. Seven question words. Y cada vez que usted menciona una de esas... You need additional information. How do you say perdí el dinero? I lost my money. I lost my money. I lost my, I lost my, money. my money. Y si yo le pregunto how, ¿cómo me va a responder? I forgot my wallet in the bus. Okay, I forgot my wallet in the bus. So, if you say, uh, is for places. Where is for places? When is for times or dates? What is general? What color? What country? What person? What car? What animal? It's general. Who is for people? Adivine quién vi. ¿Qué dice usted? Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh, Mire, uh, mañana no voy a venir a trabajar y se pregunta why. Why? ¿Por qué? Need a reason. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Which is when you have options. Hay un grupito de personas, yo le digo, ahí está mi primo. Y usted le dice, which one? Porque hay varias personas. ¿Cuál de todos? Well, yeah, exactly. Which one? So we use which when we're talking about actions. Cuando estamos hablando de options, sorry, not actions, options, opciones. Y el último es how. What is the meaning of how? Como. 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 Exactly. Yes. 
Any questions or comments? No. No? No question. Okay. So, right now, usted, you will make a sentence con cada una de las que aparecen ahí. What, where, who, where, and how. So let me send you this. Use this as reference. This information is in the platform. It's in the platform. So ahorita lo voy a hacer a que trabaje to working pairs. Vamos a cambiarlo de pareja. Recreate. And va a crearlas. And vamos, we're going to change this person here. And this person goes here. Go this here. So here we go. Work in pairs and create questions uh, like this. Questions that you use in a real life situation. Let's go.
most um, beautiful <laughs> books or the most uh, that the best uh, books uh, are in English. In the Paris, can you have some? Books, uh huh, okay. Uh -huh. What did you do? Oh, oh okay, yeah. Um, uh, my friend live in Lourdes. She's a hello, Marcela. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Good. Are you alone? Yes, because I don't know. I think uh, Stephanie lost the connection. Okay. Thank you, Marcela Yvonne. I'm going to move you to room two. Quiero ver otra. Ah, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Ajá, así. I am um, speaking <laughs> with you. Brother is uh, Oscar. Oscar. Okay. Bessie, 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 Bessie. What kind of music do you like? Um, my. Uh, electronic okay. electronic eh, muchas muchos géneros quizás perdón que no puedo <laughs> decir muchos géneros en inglés genre how do you say teacher genre genre so let, 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 okay. let me put it in the chat si estamos hablando mujeres u hombres usted dice gender Digamos, está llenando la aplicación gender, usted pone uh, boy or girl. Pero si está hablando de género, de, de música, de película, usted dice genre. Genre. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So okay. different genres. Different genres. Ajá. Uh -huh. Genres. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Bessie. All right, all right, welcome back. Um, do you have any questions about today's class? So, va a haber un, un día en su vida en que usted va a estar deletreando su nombre. Y le van a decir, uh, what's your last name? Oh, my last name is Marroquín. Imagínate que estoy allá por Sudáfrica o allá por Asia donde nunca han oído Marroquín. No me van a decir, ah, Marroquín, sí, así. No, me van a decir, please spell it. Yo le voy a decir, M as in Mike, A as in Alpha, uh, double R. So, including yourself. So, sooner than later. Any questions or comments about today? Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, if I want to spell in Spanish, uh, uh, I use the same Aviation alphabet. Yes, you can use it as reference. Exactly. Because the aeronautical alphabet is universal. Es universal. O sea, yo le puedo decir R de ratón. Pero si la otra persona no habla español, va a quedar igual ratón. ¿Qué es ratón? Se va a quedar con la duda. So, entonces, uh, you need to use the aeronautical alphabet. Yes. Okay. So, what is hecho and foster in Spanish? Foxtrot and e, e of echo. Echo. Uh -huh. echo, echo, echo es un echo. echo. Hola, ah, okay. hola, 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 okay. hola. That's echo. And foxtrot uh -huh. is, era un baile that people used to practice in the United States, but they don't practice anymore. Eh, sure. eh, perdón, yes. entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo ocupa la F en español? ¿La qué? La F. Oh. Si yo, 
si yo deletreo el nombre en español, como este usted dice que es un alfabeto universal, entonces yo digo FD. Foxtrot. Ah, siempre lo, yeah. lo dice. Ya, yeah. pero como les vuelvo a repetir, esto es un... Uh, es algo que los exigen cuando usted va a trabajar con, con gente nativa, que el inglés es su primer idioma, por lo mismo, para evitar, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Malos escritos y, 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 y momentos eh, desagradables. ¿Qué sucede si usted llega al aeropuerto y su nombre tiene solo una letra mala? Solo una letra mala. ¿Qué le van a decir? Este, your name. Pero, you are not the same person. Exactly. Exactly. You are not shit. Aunque usted mire, le enseñe su driver's license, yes. su pasaporte y el do y todo eso, I'm sorry. Usted tiene que viajar con el, el, el letreado justo como está en, 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 en su documento. Por una letra que vaya mal escrita, usted ya no vuela, se regresa y empieza el gran calvario para todo mundo. Yep. Any other questions or comments, 